Today I want to look at the progress in the uh, stock market bubble and, uh, and I am fully convinced at this point that we are uh, in a bubble. Um, uh, I was expecting the bull market to last much longer but uh, I think um, the central banks and the government have taken drastic actions uh, to combat the recession uh, from coronavirus and they uh, are uh, actively trying to create a bubble uh, to counteract the, the defla deflationary forces um, that are at play right now. Um, so I, I think they've just thrown caution to the wind. They're, they're going to create a bubble and then they'll deal with the consequences of you know, what happens after the bubble pops uh, you know, in the future. Uh, at this point, I think, uh, um, especially the current administration, wants to have a bubble as we go into the election. Uh, that would uh, be uh, create optimism, and um, and um, Trump would probably get reelected. Uh, but there is a you know there's no denying it now. I'm I'm starting to see the signs everywhere. People are uh, that have no idea what they're doing are are trading stocks. Um, let me put the weekly moving average in here. All right, so you can see we're just getting uh, stretched insanely far above the 200-week moving average. That's one of the signs that uh, a bubble is in progress, along with that sentiment of you know everybody and their uh, their cousin is uh, getting rich trading stocks. And uh, the Nasdaq bubble uh, back in 2000 uh, tacked on almost 100% in the last uh, four months. So we're probably going to do something similar. Um, once we broke out above 10,000, if you remember, I've been telling everybody 10,000 was going to be a piece of cake since, um, uh, you know, mid 2017. Uh, we, we, of course, we have reached 10,000. We just shot straight through it. And uh, I've also been saying that uh, I think 20,000 is uh, is going to be easily obtainable. I think we're going to do 20,000 probably in the next three to four months. Um, we're, I think we're in that ending stage of a bubble where price just goes parabolic, where you get uh, the general public, people that uh, have no idea what they're doing, uh, are just, um, you know, hitting, uh, or they're uh, willing to pay any price uh, for uh, an asset, and that's what causes a uh, price to just go parabolic straight up. Um, so I'm, I'm going to say, you know, at, at this point, uh, cycles and sentiment don't work anymore. Uh, I told my subscribers several weeks ago to, to just forget about trying to time corrections that cycles and sentiment wouldn't work. Uh, the Federal Reserve is going to dump free money into the market every day uh, to push the market higher. And uh, and we, we will probably get some volatile down days, but they're not going to be uh, triggered by any normal sentiment extreme or or uh, cycle patterns or anything like that. They will probably come on a news event. So we may get some kind of a bad news event and uh, and that causes, you know, a quick little sell off, but then that, that will be bought immediately and the bubble will continue. And, and you know, there's no tools to predict, predict when a a news event is going to happen. So, you know, whenever they do use them to buy, um, because I, I think, uh, I think we're going to go to uh, 20,000 at least, uh, between now and, uh, I would say we, we probably got even into the uh, Christmas buying season, especially with, uh, with stocks, you know, going up like this, everybody getting rich on their 401ks are going crazy. Uh, the day traders are making money. I would say that people are going to be feeling very uh, generous uh, over the holidays. So I, I suspect uh, this this bubble is going to continue uh, into and through the um, the uh, buying season uh, the, or the holiday buying season in December, and uh, we probably won't get our top until January or February. Uh, so at this point, I, I think you just have to uh, forget about any kind of normal trading strategies and just buy uh, buy any and every little dip. The Fed has got your back. I think they, they want to actively create a bubble. Uh, and then at some point, um, you, you just have to use the um, 
control greed method to, to take profits and get out um, when you feel like you've made enough money or you're becoming you know, nervous that the bubble uh, is about to collapse. Just You just have to get out and not look back uh, so you don't get caught in the crash. Uh, I know of only one person that was able to do this um, during the Bitcoin bubble. He felt he had made enough money. He got out, didn't look back. Bitcoin went up another 100% after that, but he did not get caught in the crash. So you will almost certainly get out too early, uh, but too early is better than too late in, in a bubble.